who do some things, who do be doing some things, yeah? The NYPD, ladies and gentlemen, the NYPD is, of course, the police department of New York City. New York City is, I believe, the most populous city in the U.S., pretty big city, and uh, there's a there's a massive streamer recently who uh, who went to New York, you know? Just like people in Paris, we had Kai Sinat in Paris. Kai Sinat, massive streamer, and he was doing a big giveaway in Union Square in New York City, okay? If we, if we look right here, this is Union Square. You have the Empire State Building right there. Um, big, massive giveaway in Union Square, New York City. Um, F it, heart, NYC. Tomorrow, um, August 4th, so this is two days ago at time of recording, huge giveaway at 14th Street, Union Square Park, uh, 4 p.m. PCs, PS5, gift cards, gaming chairs, etc. be there. Um, and you see just this massive crap- wait, hold up. Oh my god. This is a sausage party. Is there a single femme presenting person in this- oh wait, two, three, four, five, um, wow, yeah, no, yikes, um, I, I mean, I, I, I guess it's about expected, you know? And almost all of them are wearing black. Stop wearing black. Black is a very boring color. I'm wearing a Darth Vader shirt. I have an excuse. Um, stop wearing black out in public, dude. It is such a boring color. But, um, yeah. So this caused a bit of an issue because Kai sent out massive streamer, massive dude. He's giving away a bunch of expensive stuff. He didn't, I believe, inform the city beforehand. Um, he didn't clear it for health and safety, which is bad. Which is bad. Must smell bad. You are right, Lucky Otter. It has to smell horrible there. Um, because half those people don't wash. But, Kai Sinat does this without clearing it with the city of New York, and it devolves into almost like a riot-like state. I believe Kai has even been charged for this. Yeah. And that's not good. But at the same time, the NYPD's response to it was uh, a little disproportionate. So we have a video here coming to us from Bruce Schaff. Uh, and if, if we watch this, got some people getting out of a taxi. Okay. Then we have NYPD coming up right here. And they take they take this kid and then Dude. But let, let let's play that back. Let's take let let's play that back. So this is someone who is once again walking away. It looks like. Um, if this will load. Basically what we just saw there was someone walking away. Uh, the t two cops just spawning out of nowhere because for some reason these people spawn like bogeys in a uh, in a video game. They walk out of nowhere. Yeah, let, let, let's watch this once again. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, this kid's walking away. They grab him and then s straight through the back window of that taxi. Yeah, once again. They grab him, he was walking away, disengaging, he was walking away, and then, boom. Um, they smash his head into a window. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, police brutality. Okay, this is... This, this is very obviously an instance of police brutality here. 
and I'm glad that someone caught it on video. This is like the clearest cam of police brutality that you could get. Like, yeah, like this is so clear. And this is also the reason why, like, if an event ever happens or a fight is going down and someone's like, oh, or like a protest is going down and like someone's getting roughed up and people are like, oh, why did you record? Why didn't you do anything about it? Yada, da, 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 da. That's because when you record, you can get very clear instances of a misconduct like this. Anyone who says, oh, why did, and like, don't even try to act. Like, this was a mistake. This person was moving away from the issue. Because I'm assuming what's going on right here with everyone moving in this direction, they aren't going away from New York police. Yeah? Because these aren't riot police. They aren't being pushed in a certain direction. They're clearly trying to disperse from an area. They were moving in this area. This person was moving in this area, he looked back to see cops, and instead of speaking to him, they grab him, and they sham they shove his face in the back glass of a taxi. Do you know how hard you have to do something to shatter car glass? Car glass is designed to not shatter like that. Even back windows are not designed to shatter like that. Yeah? Those are designed to be shatter resistant. They smashed his head into that. And this is why you should be recording instances like this. Because this is something that these cops here should not get away with. These absolute hogs, dude. These pigs. Yeah? Because this, this is what they are. He's pigs. Yeah? If you're if you're doing this to some people, you're a pig. Okay? You should not be able to get away with doing that. And I guarantee you, they would be able to get away with doing that if it wasn't recorded. Because they'll just say, oh, he got those injuries from something else. But they can't now, because very clearly, a guy got his head vented through the back window of a taxi cab. It's reinforced glass? Yeah! Cars have reinforced glass on their windows. They are designed to not shatter. They are designed to not shatter. The only windows that I'm pretty sure on most vehicles that are designed to be fairly easy to shatter, and even then you have to put some force in to shatter them, are the side windows. Your windshield is not designed to shatter, and your back window is not designed to shatter because if something flies in that, it, can't, it needs to bounce off. It needs to bounce off, or if it cracks, it cracks on the inside layer of the glass. Like, the inside layer of glass. And even then, now even on side windows, if you hit your head on a car side window, it shouldn't shatter. You have to put force behind that to shatter it. You have to be trying to do that. This is disgusting, but at the same time, this isn't, this is far from the first and will definitely not be the last incident of police brutality from the NYPD. Yeah? Do you know how much money the NYPD pays per year for police misconduct settlements? Do you know how much? Per year, the NYPD pays out for police misconduct settlements. The NYPD plays exorbitant amounts of money for police misconduct settlements. I'm looking it up now, which is why I'm looking over here. Yeah. The NYPD pays well into the millions yearly for police misconduct settlements. Okay. Yeah, this is this is just 2020. New York City has New York City has agreed to pay more than 13 million to thousands of people who say they were arrested or beaten by NYPD officers during the racial justice protests in 2020. That's a lot of dosh. 
And guess where all that money is coming from? It's coming from the taxpayer. Yeah, and that's just one season of protests, okay? That doesn't count the police brutality without protests. The police brutality um, in instances like this that we just saw. So much money goes into this. There is, it's not just great policy to keep cops under check to make sure that they are not committing police brutality, to make sure that they are accounted for, to make sure they have body cams, to make sure that they know proper de-escalation tactics, to make sure that they aren't responding to situations that they are not trained to respond to like mental health situations. That's not just smart from a protecting life standpoint. If you don't care about that, care about your pockets at the very least. Yeah, I'm a tax-paying American citizen. I have a job. Okay? I don't want my money to be going to settlements, to pigs who were barely trained because if you're engaging in police brutality, you are a pig. I don't want my money going to pigs who cannot properly regulate themselves to the point where they're smashing people's heads through windows of taxis. I'm not paying for that. I don't want to pay for that. I shouldn't have to. No one should have to. This is disgusting behavior. Flat out. Yeah. But you know what you can do to stop this? You can vote. Yeah. Vote for good town sheriffs if you can. It is a shame how many sheriffs in this country are of the Republican Party. Because let, let me tell you one thing, hey baby, the Republican Party doesn't give a fuck about police brutality. Yeah? So vote in your local sheriff's elections. Run in your local sheriff's elections. Okay? Yeah? Why is police trading in the U.S. only a handful of months? A handful of months for police training in the U.S.? In other countries, it takes years to become a cop. I think, personally, it should take a good three to four years of schooling for you to come out of school and become a cop. And even then, a lot of the stuff that police respond to, they shouldn't be responding to. Police shouldn't be the ones doing wellness checks. Yeah, unless it is a domestic violence situation, police shouldn't be the one doing wellness checks. Yeah? Police shouldn't be responding to mental health crises. Police shouldn't be there for issues such as fires, which, you know, nine times out of ten, that's just a fire department and EMS that respond. But at the same time, I've seen a couple of issues with fires where the cops were on the scene while the fire department was putting it out. I get it if it's after, if it's a weird circumstance, but why are you there on the scene at the time? I mean, I get it. First responders. It makes sense. But we should have enough resources put into things such as EMS, such as fire departments, to where we don't have to use cops as first responders. Well, no. There would still be first responders, but they shouldn't be... They shouldn't have to be first medical responders. We should have better trained cops responding to situations where they are needed yeah in a situation like this i can get them dispersing the crowds and doing crowd control for the kai senate event yeah because this was a massive thing that did become a riot yeah basically riotous conditions that did become a riot that needed to be solved but i'll tell you how you don't solve it you don't solve it by doing stuff like this you could see them roll back before they did it look at this see they stop yeah? Yeah? Hold up. I went a little too far forward. You can literally see them reel back before they do it. See? It's like they stop briefly, and then they push them in further. Like they stop. Yeah? It's like they, they, they like slightly pause for the other one to come up. Yeah? See? That is ridiculous. We're allowing this to happen in our cities? Really? Personally, it's bad public policy. Yeah. 
But you know what? If you like this segment, yeah, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Maybe I can purchase me a better, uh, a better, better thing to go with my microphone that has been distracting me most of this segment, unfortunately. Um, you can like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, link down below. You can join my Discord, link down below. You know what it is, YouTube words, yada, yada, yada. I love you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Get it, the stop recording button.